Alright guys, Ashby FC here and welcome back to Shenmue. So, last time, um, you know, we were going around asking people about the black car and it seemed almost no one knew anything about this car, I hadn't seen it, but we finally got some information that uh, Nozomi was apparently splashed by this uh, black car. So, let's go have a word of her and here she is right here. Nozomi? Rio. Have things settled down for you, Annie? Yeah. If there's anything I can do, be sure to let me know. Yeah. On that day, the snow changed to rain. I heard you were splashed with mud from a speeding car. Yeah. What kind of car was it? It was black, and the kind of luxury car you don't normally see around here. Did you see who was in the car? No, I didn't. It was too fast. But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Rio. Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Oh, okay, so, uh... Tom had words with him, did he? Let's have words with him. There he is, dancing away as usual. Tom! Hey, Rio! Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. Right, man, I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Uh, okay. So, Chinese people. Let's check out this uh, travel agency. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for someone who knows about Chinese people. Do you know anyone? Why don't you try the Chinese restaurant near the drugstore? You mean the Bajiji? Yes? I'm sure their employees are all Chinese. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. A Gigi Chinese restaurant. So you can uh, talk to the other people. Yo, how are you? They'll generally point. They'll point you basically to the Chinese Who's restaurant. The best person in town to ask about people from China. People from China. What was the name of that place? You know, that Chinese restaurant at the far end. The Ajiichi? Yeah, that's it. I don't eat there much, but the owner. He's Chinese, I think. That's right. Um, yes. Who's the best person in town to ask about people from China? Hmm. Did you try over at Takichi's place? What? The owner of Ajiichi. Yes. They say old Takichi is a leader within the Chinese community. He might know something. Thank you. So that's basically what they're all going to say pretty much uh, when you ask around. Go back and uh, talk to Nozomi again. Excuse me. 
Oh, not you. hello. May I ask you something? Not now, please. I'm in a real hurry. I'm really sorry. I see. Catch you later. Oh, not to worry, because I didn't want to talk to her anyway. Nozomi. Ryo, you feeling any better? Yeah. Have you heard any new information? The men who argued with Tom were from China. China? Did they have anything to do with what happened to your father? Yeah, so I want to try and get some information from some Chinese people around here. Who do you think I should ask? Hmm. Let me think. How about Ajiichi? Across from Hattori Sporting Goods. Good idea. See you later. Okay, yes, yeah, so that'll get you another uh, journal entry there. Again, telling you about the Chinese restaurant, but just a bit more of an idea of to where it is. It's across from the uh, sporting goods store. But it is now night time, so most of the places are going to be closed. But the actual uh, restaurant itself is right here. Oh, and it's still open. Oh, it's open till uh, 9. I love the music in here. Taosan. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that. But the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please. Is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. I see. Why don't you tell him about the Three Blades? Oh, the Three Blades. Three Blades? What are the Three Blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up. So you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Ramen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So, I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mam Pukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. Could also go for some wonton soup right about now. But there we go. The three blades. Also, did you notice there's a book on there with Sega's name on it? <laughs> it's pretty funny how they have slapped their name all across this game. There's no doubt who the publisher of this was. I don't think I've seen any other video game company, you know, feature the, their name so prominently in a video game. Okay, so uh, most of the bars will be open now, actually. Oh, here's the, uh, the ramen place. It's still open.
Excuse me. Yes, what is it? I'm looking for any members of the Three Blades. The Three Blades? How do you know about the Three Blades? Well, Tao-san of the Ajiichi told me about it. He suggested I could find out more here. Is that so? My husband used to be a cook, a uh, Three Blades. Your husband? Yes, but I'm afraid he's passed away. About the Three Blades? My husband, he died a while back. But I can introduce you to two other people. Who would that be? Yong Sun and Wu Sun. Yang Sun and Wu Sun? They both work at the steel mill, but they're originally Three Blades members. Where should I go to meet them? I hear they go drinking together at night, so you can probably find them at a bar around here. I'll give it a try. Thank you. Okay. So Yong and Wu frequent the bars in the evenings. See, I uh, come to the uh, the ramen place first because you can just get a little bit more information, a bit of more dialogue doing it that way. Oh god, what have we got here? Uh, oh dear. Are you alright? I'm just fine and dandy! <laughs> are you sure? I'm okay! I mean, he's very unsteady, but he seems happy. He's probably been out drinking all day and he'll be in some serious trouble with the missus when he gets home. But, uh, I've actually got a, a map here. Obviously, if you've played the game as many times as I have, you know the ins and outs of it is, but, uh, you can find uh, these around. So you can just, you know, if you're looking for a certain place. So you might find them useful. As yeah, I said, uh, all the bars will be open now. We got the jazz bar over here. And right here, we got the uh, Yokosuka bar. Excuse me. I have something to do now. Let's talk later. Okay. Bye for now. Goodbye. Isn't her job to be sort of convincing people to go inside the bar? Yeah, the, the bars uh, open at five. But, uh, this Hi, is where we're gonna find. Akimi-san. Um. You're still a minor. Ine-san's worried, you know. All right. Who's she? Excuse me. I'm looking for two men. A young son and a Wu son. What? I'm young. I'm. Uh... Excuse me, but do either of you know a Chinese man named Lan Di? Lan Di? No, I don't know him. Me neither. I was told that as formal members, you might know about Three Blades. Ah, you hear that at Mampuku Ken Ramen? So Yamamoto-san remembered. Ah, the mole near Yamamoto-san's mouth is quite sexy. Very nice indeed. If she sent you, then I suppose we can help. We used to be apprentice tailors as three bladers. But we weren't cut out for it. Now we work at the steel mill. Do you plan to stay in Yokosuka long? The yen is very strong. I can make more money working in Japan than in China. I'll work hard in Japan five more years. Then go back to China and build a house. I see. Thanks. Okay, I didn't exactly give much there, and they are quite creepy in my opinion. Saijo-san. What's the matter? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get a winning can. So 
What have we got here? Jet soda. No idea what flavour that could be. But it's not a winner. Fast, doesn't he? He's gonna get himself heartburn. So you can, uh, all the uh, shopkeepers will have uh, closed up now. It's just amazing how they all got routines. Look, see this woman's out here now sweeping the street. All the shutters come down. They all head off. They just all had routines. It's just, it just incredible. Uh oh, not another one. Oh dear. Are we son? What's up? Can I ask you something? I'm sorry, Ryo, but I got some things I gotta do now. Is that so? Well, see ya. Yeah, well, I'll leave him be. Nozomi. Ryo, I'm worried about you. Hmm? Look, I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't get so involved. But I just can't let this thing go. Well, at least be careful. I will. See you later. Might be a little bit too late at this point. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> look who's. <laughs> I think I need to help this guy uh, get home. Are you alright? I'm just fine and dandy. <laughs> are you sure? I'm okay. Okay. Mm. Be able to do it next time, but uh, if you come here a little bit earlier, there's a scene that you can get, as well as something else pretty useful. I think most places have uh, closed up now. So we've got the tailor, we've got the, uh, the patches and embroidery place. But yeah, they're pretty much going to be closed right about now. Anyway, when it gets uh, later, uh, later on in the evening, if you want, you can come up to this uh, car park over here. Is where I going to initiate it? Maybe not. Okay. It's not working at the moment for some reason, but normally this is a place where you can come and train. Uh, level up some e-moves. But I'll tell you what, let's uh let's go check out the arcade. So this is really cool. We can play uh, Space Harrier. We've got uh, a quick time event uh boxing game there, and then Excite QTE2. And we've also got Super Hang On. And, uh, hang on, and um, Space Area, they were uh, games both look at the time. created by uh, Yu Suzuki. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, don't know how to play. No. What is it then? How about a quick game? Yeah. Okay, we've also got um, darts you can play over here. And there is a jukebox as well. You want to pop some music on? It's pretty One cool. One game, 100 yen. Let's have a crack at darts. So can beat the high score there of 77. I'll play it once.
It's actually really hard, his darts. Personally, I think it's much easier in the, uh, the Accuser series. Well, at least in the later games, So anyway. close. Basically, Ryu's hand sort of moves left to right and goes up and down automatically. You've just got to try and time it to hit something decent. So close. Looks like I can already beat the high score. No good. Usually I'm pretty this is it. pretty goddamn useless at this. No good. One. <laughs> I get to play again. Oh lucky me. Hey, not too bad. Preferred the treble. No good. Good. Two. So close. Well, oh, score two hundred. This is it. That's pretty good for me, actually. Hey, not too bad. So Eighteen, just about. The high score! Yay! No more darts. Well, that's Maybe how darts time. works. There you go, see if you can, uh, if you got show me yourself, see if you can uh, beat my high score there. 233. Shouldn't be hard. Okay, these are, I'm absolutely useless at these. Let's try this one first. One game, 100 yen. It's just a quick time event. I'll play once. No uh, issues beating my score on this. I'm absolutely terrible. As I shall demonstrate right now. So there's the high score, 10,000. So the button comes up, just press it. And the quicker you press it, the more points you'll get. It'll get faster. I just panic and press the wrong button. I'm so bad. I'm sure some people find these incredibly easy. Probably been better at this when I was younger. My reaction times would have been quicker. Darn. What? I'm sure I did that right. Up on the left uh, analog. Did I get the high score? Yeah, I did dinner. Way to go, man. It's not a big deal. So there you go, see if you can beat that score. Look at the time. Uh -oh. I'd better go home soon. I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah, but okay, so I went beyond the uh, curfew, so uh Yeah, it'll automatically send you home. There is something you can do. When you go to um, sleep you can you see a training option. So you can set a move to train and every time you sleep it'll train up a little bit overnight. Um, I tend to think it's better to go for throw moves because you can't when you can because there is certain areas you can go to when you can practice like your kicks and your punches. You can't really practice your throws unless it's actually on someone. So personally, I'd go for the um, the throws. You can choose a specific one that you uh, want to train up. So 
Let's go with uh, Demon Drop. That's a cool one. Okay, so Demon Drop will be focused. So, alright. Let's get some sleep. Ine-san is always there for me. Duo-san, are you going out? Yeah. You were late returning home last night. Yes, a little. I would appreciate it if you could come home by 11. Okay, I understand. Yeah, if you stay out beyond the uh, curfew, she'll be a little bit upset with you. Let's uh no I won't phone Nozomi yet. I'll tell you what, yeah, I'll um go ahead and uh end this one here and then uh next time back into uh Dubuita and we'll um find out more about these three blades. See if we can get anywhere. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.